UAC Alaka Breeders Association has set to launch their own security system that will cover the entire country, according to a Facebook post by an, an outfit known as Fulani News Media. They said Nigerians should watch out for the grand launching of the Mietiala Vigilante nationwide, which implies that when launched, the Vigilante will operate in every part of the country. And in the picture is a face cap that the officers will wear. It has a logo that depicts two buttons, an eagle, an Arewa symbol. This might not come as a surprise to critical observers because Miesi Allah as a group have always wanted a nationwide spread in every aspect. After the inauguration of Amotekun in the southwest, they campaigned to be allowed to join the regional security system, but governments of southwest states didn't oblige them. You can recall that around July last year, it was reported in the dailies that Mieti Allah had used his vigilante group to set up set up stop and search roadblock in Undo State. Hmm. And the Mieti Allah officers had this IDs on them when they were on duty. There was a big heart cry and opposition to what Mieti Allah was doing in Undo State and they were disbanded but since then they seem to be nursing the ambition of having a nationwide security outfit which this post by Fulani news media has just given us a hint hmm. so guys uh, we are not really too surprised and we are not too uh, we are not taking on our ways because they've been making a lot of statements before now they've been making some kind of insightful statements even on national televisions Everywhere they have opportunity to to air their opinion or their views. Even some people were even asking a Chinese television of a, giving them audience, you know, to come and be saying what they are not supposed to be saying. And believe you me, a lot of those statements they've been making on mostly Chinese televisions, if it were to be other people, of course it would have been a different thing. DSS would have swung in. And not even that, before now, they've been making some... Uh, inflammatory uh, statements that people are like what is really happening so we are not surprised but we are waiting let us see what will become of them and how far they are going to go of course I know now that a lot of people will uh, be interested or will be waiting on what the government is going to say all those people who came out for Amoteku and what have you that Amosteko should not be established. Let us see what they're going to be saying. And um, also, I don't even know which uh, uh, under government parastata they are going to be operating or as what as an association so they can they can um, launch out their own security and what have you. And because that time when they were really anxious, they were really disturbing the uh, Southwest people that they want to be part of they are Motekun, that if they are not allowed, that by the time they, that they, they themselves, they, they, yeah, I don't know whether it was a really threat or or what have you, saying that if they are not allowed, that definitely they are going to launch out their own security outfits and it's going to be nationwide. <laughs> but let's see under which umbrella they are going to be operating, under which constitution they are going to be operating as, a, as an association, because that is just what they are. We, and we have a different associations in this country, whether under law, under the constitution, they have that right to establish uh, that law. Even the security act with the regional one that people have been clamoring for, it has to go. <laughs> it has to go. It has to go through uh, uh, each state, uh, the uh, state assembly. Even when they said, "Oh, according to law, they are not supposed to. Uh, it's, it's not supposed to be done regionally." And they really went back, and that is the opportunity they have okay go back to your different states you know like a, a, a typical example is of that southwest okay if it's not going to be regional then let them operate at that level at that state level which they did and it's really yielding results but we don't know why the kickoff has not even uh, started in the first place but we now know the face and the uh the position of each state on how they are going to carry out uh, this whole thing so let's just wait and see how this a uh, Fulani or this a uh, Katu, whatever they call themselves, in no shape, they are Magban. Let's see how they are going to be operating under the law. So that is just what I really need to say. I'm, I'm sure Nigerians are really waiting for them. Seriously, Nigeria are really waiting for them. 
waiting for the government on what they are going to say concerning uh concerning this because uh, it's really in my opinion it's really 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 la laughable very very laughable they want to set out their own security outfits okay let's see and someone says uh uh this is this is it buari has finally unveiled his agenda my question is in which state are they going to operate from no state can and must not allow any outfits to operate without legislative backing yes south south state governors are you still sleeping can those uh, uh, mil uh, mil uh militants see what is at their doorstep please let them fast about it so that biafra will come fast yes <laughs> that is what uh, that's the way someone is saying is oh well, let them do it uh, it's an opportunity for other people to to spring up and let's see how the government is going to cope since they are always making statements as if uh, they are they are the owner of uh, the country or they are part of the government of course somebody will be saying why are you asking that questions no now let us let them let them see then they will know uh where the government stands really because it's been like oh they are just trying to be indifferent but we know what we know and someone says uh this semi uh, it seems you people lost the scene of reasoning if not your own uh not is not enough for you to create your own full and security come over may be may you be welcome come over uh, may you be welcome when they already had the military in their kitty kitty protecting the atrocities as t y danjuma alerted the nation are they backed by any house of assembly or national assembly with constitutional backing that's the question we are really asked we are really uh, waiting for all those uh, Malara, uh, Balarabi, Musa, and the Arewa, and what have you. Of course, they say they have a uh, this Arewa logo on their uh, the cap and the logo of which they are going to be displaying. Um, except the rest of us allow them, each region and state has its boundary. They are people, these are people who don't trust themselves, they are hostile to themselves in the jungle and they teach each other bitter lessons day now such people want to go to where they have no business being it will be disastrous protect your territory simple okay let us see how it will work and just to tell you what i said let us see how they want to go about it whether they are going to be having a legislative backing they're going to be having state assembly backing where under which umbrella just like i asked under which umbrella are they going to be operating from and under which constitution they are going to be established. Some say this is a deliberate attempt to infiltrate the entire country. Those uh, dummy we have from the south can now understand better, if only there remains common there, there remains common sense in them. Fulanization agenda will not work in every part of this country except a uh, casino. The population of Fulan is highly looting. Anyway, this group of people are coming out gradually with the original plan to take over Nigeria. I don't see how they will succeed if the government of the various states will not give them opportunity to operate. Southern governors should watch out. If they launch it, uh, it cannot operate in the south, not to talk of southwest, because Amotekun cannot operate in the north. North is not their jurisdiction. Southwest is not their is not their uh, jurisdiction as well mm, this is very laughable and ridiculous where in nigeria anything goes but it's if this news is anything to go by then there's a big uh, war looming in the entire country known for now as nigeria i want the full and not to incur the wrath of the old nigerians because if they uh, cheaply do it would entail a huge catastrophe on the path on their path i weep for nigeria the laws in Nigeria will allow this. Somebody is asking a question. Why are these people so desperate in infiltrating the country? Is there no government that can stop them? Let them be told their reigning days will soon be over. Their government tenure will soon come to an end. Play safe, please. This is why they wanted Ruga or Katu Kaluni. Of course, we know all of those things now. And, and kudos to those who really stood immediately and condemned it. And uh, before you know it, knew it, a lot of people began to see a uh, reason, you know, 
of a not even allowing this a what is it called allowing the ruga you know to take place they want to launch their outfit their security outfit which they said if they were not allowed to join amotekun that that is what they are going to come up with so guys let us hear your opinion on this issue thank you